It's been a Modesto staple for almost two decades, but now a popular haunted house won't be creating scares this Halloween. And neighbors, when we found out, were just heartbroken, and, and uh, you know, it's definitely one of their legacies of in this neighborhood. You know. The haunt has been entertaining the community in Turlock and Modesto, but sadly, its organizer has been diagnosed with cancer. CBS 13's Sharon Roger is in Modesto tonight with more on her story and how the community is reacting. Tony and Adrian, for 18 years, this was the place to be for Halloween. People traveled as far as the Bay Area and Bakersfield to check out this haunted house. At its peak, they had 2,000 people come through here over three days. But now, a different kind of scare has halted production. It's no ordinary haunted house. From lighting to a cast of actors and elaborate decor, the Deathworks Haunt in Modesto on St. Charles Place has entertained families for years and for free. Well, people would be waiting uh, two hours, sometimes three hours to wait in line. It's definitely something that not just this neighborhood, but this whole city knows. And the woman with the vision is Lynette Brown. It's truly a labor of love. It takes several months out of the year. Months ago, Brown started preparations for a special private haunt for devoted fans this Halloween. But sadly, just a few weeks ago, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, the same cancer that killed her father, and her mother was also diagnosed. When we got the diagnosis, and my surgeon told me that he wanted me to do chemotherapy before um, having a Whipple procedure, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do both. In 2016, Brown had to shut down her production over some safety concerns, but she never gave up. She moved her haunt to Turlock, but now a real halt. This is the first year in 18 years that I'm doing nothing. And even, um, even walking through neighborhoods and seeing houses decorated, it's hard. Um, I miss it. I miss the people, I miss the kids the most. Inspired by her own mother's fight. Through all of her illnesses, she's been very, very strong. So I hope to set that example for my kids. And Lynette will be starting chemotherapy soon, but she's hopeful to fight through this and come back stronger to continue her tradition.